فلقد يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من مدكر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله we begin from verse number 83 of Surah Al-An'am أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وتلك حجتنا آتيناها إبراهيم على قومه نرفع درجات من نشاء إن ربك حكيم أليم ووهبنا له إسحاق ويعقوب كلا هدينا ونوحا هدينا من قبل ومن ذريته داود وسليمان وأيوب ويوسف وموسى وحارون وكذلك نجزي المحسنين وزكريا ويحيى وإيسى وإلياس كل من الصالحين وإسماعيل واليسى ويونس واللوط وكلا فضلنا على العالمين ومن آبائهم وذرياتهم وإخوانهم واجتبيناهم وهديناهم إلى صراط مستقيم and these hujjatuna are arguments we gave it to ibrahim al islam ala khomi against his people we raise and rank whomever we wish verily your lord is most wise all knower and we bestowed to bestowed to him ishaq al islam and yaqub al islam each we gave guidance and no al islam we guided from before and from his offspring daud al islam and suleiman al islam and ayub al islam and yusuf al islam and musa al islam and harun al islam and thus we recompense the good doers and zakari al islam and yahya al islam and isa al islam and ilyas al islam all way among the righteous and ismail al islam and yasa al islam and yunus al islam and lut al islam and each we preferred over the worlds and of their forefathers and their offspring and their brothers and we chose them and we guided them in asirati mustaqim towards the path straight aur ye hamari hujjat humne di usko ibrahim al islam humne di ibrahim al islam ko uske qoum ke muqable mein hum buland karte hain darjat jiske hum chahte hain beshak aapka rab khoob hikmat wala khoob jante wala aur humne ata ki usko ishaq al islam aur yaqub al islam har ek ko humne hidayat हिदायत दी और नू अलाम हमने हिदायत दी उनसे इससे पहले और उसके जरूरियत यानी उसके औलाद उसके औलाद में से दाऊद अल्लाम को और सलेमान अल्लाम को और अयूब अल्लाम और यूसुफ अल्लाम और मूसा अल्लाम और हारून अल्लाम और इसी तरह हम बदला देते हैं नेकोकारों को और जकर आलाम और याहिया आलाम और ईसा आलाम और इलियास आलाम सब थे सालहिन में से और इसमाइल इस्लाम और यसा इस्लाम और यूनस इस्लाम और लूतल इस्लाम और हर एक को हमने फजीलत बख्शी तमाम आलम पर और उनके बाप दादाओं में और उनके औलाद में और उनके भाइयों में और हमने चुन लिया उनको और हमने हिदायत दी उनको सीधे रास्ते की तरफ गालिका हुआ فَإِنْ يَكْفُرْ بِهَا هَؤُلَاءِ فَقَدْ وَكَّلْنَا بِهَا خَوْمًا لَيْسُ بِهَا بِكَافِرِينَ أُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ هَدَى اللَّهُ فَبِهُدَاهُ مُقْتَدِي قُلْ لَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ أَجْرًا إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا ذِكْرًا لِلْعَالَمِينَ That is the guidance of Allah he guides whomever he guides with it whomever he wishes among his slaves and had they associated partners yani with Allah surely would have gone vain from them what they used to do or surely would have become worthless for them what they used to do those are the ones we gave them the book and wisdom and nubuwwat prophethood then if disbelieved in it these then if disbelieve in it these then indeed we entrusted it to a people not with it are this do the the ones whom has guided allah so in their guidance you follow say not i ask you upon it any reward not it is except a reminder for the worlds 
یہ اللہ کی ہدایت ہے وہ ہدایت دیتا ہے اس کے ذریعے جس کو چاہتا ہے اپنے بندوں میں سے اور اگر وہ شرک کرتے تو اکارت ہو جاتے ان سے جو کچھ انہوں نے عمل کیا یہ وہی لوگ ہیں جن کو ہم نے دی انہیں کتاب اور حکمت اور نبوت پھر اگر انکار کرے یہ اور اگر انکار کرے اس پر یہ لوگ تو یقیناً ہم نے حوالے کر دیا اس کو ایک ایسے لوگوں کو جو نہیں ہے اس کا انکار کرنے والے یہی وہ لوگ ہیں جن کو ہدایت سے بخ... ہدایت بخشی اللہ نے تو ان کے راستے پر تم چلو کہہ دیجئے نہیں میں سوال کرتا تم سے اس پر کوئی اجر نہیں وہ مگر ایک نصیحت ہے تمام عالم کے لیے اللہ سبحانہ اللہ And roughly around 25 prophets' names have been mentioned in the Quran, of which 18 names are mentioned in this part or in this particular passage. So Allah says that this is the way that Allah has given to some people who Allah has given to them, they have given to them to the Lord. But if these are the Lord of the Lord, who I say that if they do the same thing, then they will be able to do all the good deeds. So these are the prophets whom we have guided. And God forbidding, if these prophets also would have committed shirk, then all their good deeds would have gone in waste. And that's a very serious message Allah is giving to all of us. Allah would not even spare the prophets. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose the prophets to demonstrate to the people how they should live, live their lives. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, when these prophets conveyed the message to their respective communities, some of them believed, the most of them did not believe. And even in the case of the Prophet Wasallam, the Mushrikeen of Makkah rejected the message of the beloved Prophet, but there were certain Sahabas whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to the Prophet Wasallam who embraced Islam. Sahaba Ikram joh hai, woh kuch muntakib or chunay huye bandhe the, jis par Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ne hidayat se nawaza. So Allah is telling all of us and to every believer who would come to the day of Qiyamah, in their way you follow. Sahaba ki zindagi ke mutabit tum apne zindagi ko chalao. The way they sacrificed their wealth, their time, their energy for the cause of Islam, the way they had that strong Iman in them and the way they led their lives as per the teachings of the Quran and the authentic hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah says, you follow the same way. And Allah telling the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, tell the people that you're not asking them any reward or any wages for this. This is a Quran which I'm presenting before you. Well, people want to take Benefit out of it, let them take benefit for it is only a reminder for the words. In huwa illa zikra lil alameen. Ye Quran, except nasiyat nama hai taham tamam jahan walon ke liye. Wa ma khadaru allaha haqqa khadrihi is khalu ma anzal allahu ala basharim min shay. Kul man anzal al kitaba kul man anzal al kitaba alladhi jaa bihi Musa nuro wa hudal lil nasi تجلون When they said, Ma anzal Allahu ala bashar, basharim min shay, not has revealed Allah upon a man anything. Ask, Man anzal al kitab alladhi jaa bihi Musa nura wa huda? Ask, who then revealed the book which brought with it Musa al-Islam as a light and as a guidance for the people? You made it into sheets of paper. You disclosed some of it, but you concealed much. And you were taught what not you knew. You and neither your forefathers. Say Allah. Then leave them in their vain discussions ya labun to play about aur nahi unhone khadar ki allah ki jaise uske khadar karne ka haq tha jab unhone kaha nahi nazil kiya allah kisi insaan par kuch bhi puchiye 
پھر کس نے نازل کی کتاب وہ جو لے آئے تھے اس کو موسا علیہ السلام نے ایک نور اور ہدایت لوگوں کے لیے تم بنائے تھے اس کو متفرق اور آخ میں تم ظاہر کیے اس کا کچھ حصہ لیکن تم نے چھپایا بہت سا اور تم کو سکھایا گیا جو نہیں تم کو معلوم تھا تم اور نہ تمہارے باپ دادا کو کہہ دیجئے اللہ پھر چھوڑ دو ان کو ان کے بے ہدہ باتوں میں وہ کھیلتے رہے اللہ سبحان آسکنگ دس جوس ہو اے ناٹ پریپیئر ٹو ایکسپٹ دا بلاویڈ پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اور ایکسپٹ دا بک نیملی دا قرآن وچ واز ریویلڈ آن دا بلاویڈ پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ نو 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 اللہ سبحان ناٹ ریویلڈ اپن اے مین اینی تھنگ وائی آر یو اسپیکنگ ان سچ اے اسٹوپڈ مین یہ بے وقفی بے وقفی باتیں کیوں کہتے ہو تم با, تم اس بات پر گواہ ہو کہ اللہ نے جو ہے تورات کو رس السلام پر نازل کیا وہ انسان نہیں تھے کیا وہ بھی تو ایک انسان تھے اور تم جو ہے اس بات کو بھی مانتے ہو اب جب کہ اللہ صبح نو تعالیٰ قرآن کو رسول اکم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم پر اتارا تو تم کو کیا پرابلم ہے بٹ دا پرابلم ود یو فیلوز از یو ڈی ناٹ ایون کیئر اباؤٹ دیٹ ویری تورا تھوم یو ٹوڈے کلیم دیٹ یو ہیو بلیو ان اٹ یو ڈی ناٹ نو مچ آف واٹ دا تورا تھ واز کنوینگ ٹو یو دو اللہ صبح نہ ہوتا واز ٹرائنگ ٹو ایمپاور یو ود دا نالج بٹ یو ریفیوز ٹو ایکسپٹ سو اللہ صبح نہ ہوتا سیز ڈونٹ اسپیک لائک دس اٹ از اونلی اللہ ہو سینڈ ڈاؤن دا تورا تھ اپن موسا علیہ السلام اینڈ از اونلی اللہ صبح نہ ہوتا ہو از ناؤ سینڈ ڈاؤن دا قرآن اپن دا بلاویڈ پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اللہ سے پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ڈونٹ ویسٹ یور ٹائم بی اینڈ دیز فیلوز یا ریفو نہ ہو کما یا ریفو نہ اپنا ہو یا ریفو نہ ہو کما یا ریفو نہ اپنا ہو دے کین ریکگنائز دا پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ایز دا ٹو میسنجر جسٹ ایز ہاؤ دا ریکگنائز دیر اون سنس دے آر جسٹ یوزنگ سم ایویزو میجرز ٹو اسکیپ فرام دا ٹروتھ او بلاویڈ پروفٹ ڈونٹ ویسٹ یور ٹائم بی اینڈ دیز فیلوز دس واٹ اللہ سنگ وَهَذَا كِتَابٌ أَنزَلْنَاهُ مُبَارَكٌ مُصَدِّقُ الَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدِهِ وَلِتُنزِرَ أُمَّ الْقُرَى وَمَنْ حَوْلَهَا وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِهِ وَهُمْ عَلَى صَلَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِزُونَ And this book, that is the Quran, we have revealed it as a blessing, مُبَارَكٌ as a blessing. مُصَدِّقُ الَّذِي Confirming to what before it and that you may want أُمَّ الْقُرَى Umm al-Qura means the capital cities. The mother of the cities means the capital cities. Here in this case, it refers to Makkah. Confirming to what before it and that you may want the mother of the cities and whoever around it. While those, sorry, and those who believe in the hereafter, they believe in it. And they, upon their prayers, you have his own safeguard. And this book we have written in the book بابرکت بنا کر تصدیق کرتی ہے جو اس کے آگے آئی اور تاکہ تم ڈراؤ بستی والوں کو مرکزی بستی والوں کو اور جو اس کے ارد گرد رہتے ہیں اور جو لوگ ایمان رکھتے ہیں آخرت پر وہ ایمان رکھتے ہیں اس قرآن پر یعنی اس پر یعنی قرآن پر اور وہ اپنی نمازوں کی حفاظت کرتے ہیں سو so, اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ سینڈ ڈاؤن دا قرآن از اے بلیسنگ مبارک ان دا میننگ آف سینڈ ڈاؤن دا قرآن از اے بلیسنگ مینس Without the Quran, our lives would have been absolutely meaningless. Without any purpose at all. Our dunya mein joh hai wajud paana, our dunya mein joh hai jina be maqsad ho jata, be maane ho jata agar Quran na hota. Lives without the Quran is no life at all. Wo zindagi baghair Quran ki, wo zindagi hi nahi hai. Hum sirf joh hai, we may be just like, you know, dead bodies. Because... The actual oxygen for the soul is the Quran. That's the spiritual oxygen for the, for the soul. And when that spiritual oxygen is not there, we are more or less like dead bodies. This is a spiritual oxygen for us. Without the Quran, we can't live in the world. Meaning to say, spiritually we are dead. So Allah sent it down as a blessing. It guides us. It tells us how should we lead our lives. It protects us from committing sins. It helps us to gain the mu'arifat and the khurb of Allah, which means the nearness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the best way to seek His pleasure and the best way to strengthen our iman and also to prepare for the hereafter. So it's full of blessings. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
these, this Quran is confirming only to the earlier books which came, namely the Torah, the Zabur, the Injil, and all that divine scriptures which came to the prophets before. So that, O oh, beloved prophet, you may convey this message, warn the people, particularly beginning from your own city, Mecca, which is the capital, which, which is supposed to be the most densely populated city in the entire Arabian Peninsula. Start from there and also start conveying the message to people around Mecca. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those people only who believe in the hereafter will believe in the Quran. Very powerful statement Allah has made. Jo log Quran ke saath dilchaspi nahi rakte, goya ke akhirat ki dilchaspi bhi nahi hai. Kyunke Quran aur akhirat have a very close connection. Why do we study the Quran? Why do we seek, why do we seek guidance from the Quran so that our, success, our hereafter will be successful? But one who does not believe in the hereafter itself, then why should he study the Quran? Therefore, the rejecting of the hereafter is rejecting the Quran. Believing in the hereafter is believing in the Quran. Strengthening our preparation for the hereafter is strengthening our relationship with the Quran. Woman Azlamu Mim Maniftara Alallahi Kaziban Wahala Uhiya Ilaya Walam Yuha Ilehi Shayu Woman Khala Saun Zilu Mislama Anzalallah. Walau tara is a zalimuna fi ramarat el moti wal mala ikadu basi tu aedim akriju and fusakum al yoma tu zona azabal huni bima kuntum tahuluna la lahi vera al haki wa kuntum an ayatihi tastak birun. And who can be, don't say who is a woman azlamu, and who can be more unjust than he who invents. Against Allah a lie and says, Uhiya Ilaya has been revealed to me while not has been revealed to him anything. And who says, Sa unzilu, soon I shall reveal like what has revealed Allah. Walotara is this Zalimun, and if only you could see when the wrongdoers will be in the agonies of death, Ramarat al Mot, in the agonies of death, and the angels. In brackets saying, Basit, sorry, and the angels stretching forth their hands saying, Akriju Anfusakum, deliver your souls or bring out your souls. This day you are being recompensed, you shall be recompensed with a punishment, humiliating with what you used to say against Allah without any right. And you were from his verses showing arrogance. Or Usse Bada Zalim Kon Ho Sakta Jo. گھڑے اللہ کے خلاف جھوٹ اور کہے وہی کی جا رہی ہے میری طرف بھی جیس حالانکہ نہیں وہی کی جا رہی ہے اس کی طرف کچھ بھی اور جو کہتا ہے ان قریب میں بھی نازل کر سکتا ہوں جیسے اللہ نے نازل کیا اور کاش تم دیکھتے جب ظالم موت کے سختیوں میں ہوں گے اور فرشتے ہاتھ پھیلا ہوئے ان اور فرشتے پھیلا ہوئے اپنے ہاتھ یہ کہتے ہوئے نکالو تمہاری جانے so here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says over here that those people who reject the Quran and go even further by saying, what is this prophet? Oh, revelations come to me in Auzubillah, like how the Khadianis who are outside the pale of Islam. These are the people who also claim that besides the beloved prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, their leader is also a prophet unto whom revelations come. This is absolute lie. This is absolute blasphemy. And anybody who denies the Prophet is a Khataman Nabi. Khataman Nabi means the seal of prophets. He's the last and final prophet. That's it. And anybody who claims to be a prophet after the beloved Prophet or even before when he's actually not a prophet, then he's outside the pale of Islam. And those people who follow and accept also are outside the pale of Islam. That's why Khadianis are outside the pale of Islam. They carry Muslim names. They also read the Quran, but the interpretation is absolutely distorted. And today, unfortunately, their strength is growing. When many um, youngsters among the Muslim community are getting attracted towards them. May Allah protect the Muslim Ummah. They are absolute kafirs, to be very blunt. They are kafirs. But they look like Muslims. They sport a beard. They wear a cap. They also have their own masajids. They also study the Quran. They carry Muslim names, but they don't believe the Prophet as the last and final Prophet, and they are called Khadianis. It's called the Ahmadiyya sect. Be very careful. 
make sure our youngsters by no means are trapped by them they will lure them they will attract them through employment through bribing them etc etc be very careful so allah subhanahu wa taala says those people who say that revelations even come and goes on to say that i also can write like how allah subhanahu wa taala has sent the quran nauzubillah allah says such fellows who deny the seal of the prophethood such fellows who deny the quran and such fellows who challenge the quran nauzubillah do you know what is going to be their state their azab their punishment will start the moment they will be entering the jaws of death which is called ghamaratul maut ghamaratul maut matlab maut ki sakhtiyan sakratul maut ghamaratul maut that's a stupor of death the agonies of death and that's the most difficult moment for any human being including the believers unless they have been working hard to strengthen the iman and asking allah subhanahu wa taala to protect them against those agonies of death against the sakratul maut that painful moments nobody will be spared and allah subhanahu wa taala says the angels who will be going there to remove that fellow's soul will tell them come on now bring out your souls al yawma tudzuna azab al huni this day you will be recompensed with the punishment humiliating because you uttered blasphemous statements against allah which you had no right to do so and you were showing arrogance and you are not prepared to accept the quran as a book of guidance you are not prepared to accept the beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a prophet and the seal of prophethood so on account of this you are going to be subjected to severe torment and punishment and the punishment starts then and there itself right from the time they die that punishment starts which means that there's something called azab e khabar which is an absolute reality people who don't believe in azab e khabar that's their problem but the fact of the matter is there's something called azab e khabar what is this khabar nothing but life of barzakh wo jo barzakh ki zindagi hai usko khabar ki zindagi bolte hain khabar ka matlab ye nahi hai ki only the person has to be buried inside the earth there are so many people who in an air crash they don't even find the bodies or who get drowned in the sea or some animal eats them up etc etc death comes in different different forms you don't even see the body there's no possibility for them to be buried inside the earth itself but what is that the khabar doesn't necessarily mean what are there in the khabristan yeah that is also a khabar but the life which is called the life of barzakh is a life of khabar and that punishment for such evil doers begins right from the time they close the eyes for a true believer allah subhanahu wa taala sends angels and those angels ask him those basic questions mar rabbu ka ma dinu ka man nabiyu ka you know the meaning of it who is your lord what is your religion who is your prophet and a true believer from a subconscious mind at that point of time will be able to give the right answers and the angels will show him now this is the place of paradise and this is the place of jahannam had you not given these answers correctly i'm talking authentic hadith some please listen to this very carefully the angels will show him both the places <clears throat> that place in the jahannam and that place in the paradise they would say this would have been your place in jahannam had you not answered these questions correctly now that you have answered these questions correctly we accept you as a true believer so therefore now that is your place in paradise so they will give him this good news and as per allah subhanahu wa taala order that person will have a comfortable life until the day of qiyamah is established after which again allah subhanahu wa taala out of his mercy will send him to paradise but the person who rejected the quran who rejected islam who violated the commandments of allah who challenged the revelations who did not accept the prophet as the last and final messenger or accepted the prophet as a messenger of allah and etc 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 when that person dies the torment begins right from there and there itself angels come ask him this question he says sorry i don't know and in the authentic hadith is said that the angels will hit him with a hammer in such a strong manner ek hathodi se uske sar par kaano ke darmiyan aise zor se marenge on account of it he will shout so much that if at all the people would have heard it all of them in this earth would have become deaf agar khuda na khasta uska jo cheekhne ka awaaz allah subhanahu wa taala insano ko aur dusri makhlooq ko sunate sab behre ho jate itna jo hai khatarnak aur bhayanak usko azab dena dena diya jayega 
So this is all the, the authentic hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah protect all of us from all this. And azab e khabar is a sure reality. We need to seek protection from Allah subhanahu wa taala. We need azab e khabar. And one of the one of the advice and the and the recommendation of the beloved Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam recites Surah Mulk every night before going to sleep. Tabarak al-Lazi biyadil mulk wa ala kulli shayin khadid. The twenty ninth para, the first surah. Tabarak al-Lazi surah al mulk. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that whoever recites Surah Mulk before retiring to bed at night. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will protect him against the azab e khabar. Tell your folks at home. Tell your children. Develop this habit right from an early age. Develop these fine quality, fine habits, so that these things are something which one keeps in touch with throughout their lives. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "This is the punishment which is going to be given to them." Walakhaje tumuna furada kama khalakna kum abbala maratim wa taraktum ma khawal na kum wara zuhuri kum. وَمَا نَرَى مَعَكُمْ شُفَاءَكُمُ الَّذِينَ زَعَمْتُمْ أَنَّهُمْ فِيكُمْ شُرَكَاءَ لَقَدْ تَخَطَّأَ بَيْنَكُمْ وَزَلَّ عَنْكُمْ مَا كُنْتُمْ تَزْعُمُونَ Allah will say and certainly you have come to us furada all alone kama khalaqnakum awwal marra as we created you for the first time wa taraktum ma qawwalnakum and you left behind whatever we bestowed to you wara'a zuhurikum behind your backs And not we see with you, Yusufa Akum, your intercessors, intercessors, those you claimed that they, in your lives, have a share. Lachat takhta abenom certainly will be severed or cut off between them. That means between sorry, will be cut off between you, between you and them. That relationship will be cut off. Certainly will be severed or cut off between you, and will vanish from you. And have vanished from you what you used to as umon assert or make tall claims. Or yakin and tum aage ho na hamare pas akele jaise hamne paida kiya tumko pehli baar. Or tum chhoda hai ho jo kuch hamne diya tha tumko tumare pitoon ke piche. Ham nahi dekhte tumare saath tumare wo sifarishein jinko jinke baare mein tum dawa karte the ke wo tumare zindagi mein शरीक हैं या उनका कोई हिस्सा है यकीनन कट जाएंगे और सॉरी काट दिए जाएंगे तुम्हारे दरमियान या कट जाएंगे तुम्हारे दरमियान और उनके दरमियान रिश्ते इट मींस और गुम हो गुम हो गए तुमसे जो कुछ तुम दावे करते थे ऑल अलोन कुल्लुम आती हिम योम क्यामत मरियम ऑल ऑफ देम वेलकम टू अल्लाह सुबह नाउन द डे ऑफ क्या ऑल अलोन ना बीवी ना बच्चे ना शोहर ना माँ ना बाप ना भाई ना बहन ना बेटी ना बेटा नो बडी वी ऑल है जन्ना बट अदरवाइज ऑल रिलेशनशिप विल बी सिवर्ड एंड कट ऑफ एंड ऑल दो होम द पीपल Used to associate partners with Allah, or their thought will intercede on their behalf. All that relationship that they had with them will all get cut off. All of them will vanish, leaving you in the lurch. So the best way forward is to call upon Allah and Allah alone. Seek help from Him alone. Seek guidance from Him alone. Be obedient and be subservient to Him alone. Submit and surrender to Him alone. Ask only from Him, small or big, whatever you want. And pin your hopes in Allah. Put your trust in Allah and work hard. The life that Allah has given you to please Him, so that out of His mercy He should forgive us. And nobody is going to come to our rescue except our good deeds and the mercy of Allah. May Allah grant us the right understanding, help understand, the, help us understand the Quran in the right perspective. And may Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala keep us well protected against the shayatin and the incitement of all kinds of evil and the temptations around. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala keep us steadfast in the path of Islam. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, Inshallah, with the rest of the verses. Kindly be, do your homework, be on time, be regular. Jazakallah khair. Amin. Ba'ath. Amin. 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 Amin.